just like yesterday. Hey, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't think we have quite enough. But that was a great pull. You got to keep it in order like that. You got to get what I call the tuss, which is the, it's a word I made up. It's a curve. It's, you know, it's a four letter. Tuss. Okay. It's the little bit of skin that comes out at the end of the hair. Hey, Stad. Counted those hairs, there are 18. You know how many I need? 20. And you gotta pull them up towards the top of the tail too. Yesterday, when I came out here, we had taken the milk inside. Phyllis was in the stanchion. The stud muffin had come in and was eating some of the treats, some of the alfalfa. It didn't surprise me. I just went and to hurt him out. Well, when he turned around, his tail got so close to me. I was like, quick! And I went to grab some of his uh, tail hairs. And I got in like that close and I said, ooh. I said, let's turn him around, let's do it again. We tracked him back in here. I said, this time I'm gonna grab his tail hairs. We well, came back in here, turn around. Sure enough, I grabbed the end of his tail, yanked on some hair, ran up into side to mom and said, mom, Look, I've got the, um, I've got his, I, I didn't even say it. I said, look, and she knew exactly what it was. She said, but it was all like tangled and, and out of order. And, but I had forgotten how we needed to set off. We're gonna send this tail, these tail hairs off for testing. And she looked at it and said, you know, we can try. She kind of got out the paper work and then realized, no, you got to put it in order. You got to have on the end of it, that tuss I was telling you about and He's getting real close. And you gotta have 20 to 30 and we weren't sure. And you could send it off, but we'd be out 25 bucks and some time. I said, well, let's do it. Let's do it tomorrow. Well, here we are. The reason we wanna pull his tail hairs is we wanna test him for what you call A2 genetics. It's a beta casein that would be in the milk. Now he's not giving milk, but he would give it to his offspring uh, that is easier to digest. It's like goat milk. Goat milk is A2A2. Human milk is A2A2. Um, but a lot of cow's milk is A1A2 and it's harder to digest. That's why some folks can uh, digest goat's milk but not cow's. You think we should go for it? So we got the only way to test for it is send off hairs. The moms, both both my cows are A2A2. Aunt Nelly is A2A2. If we're gonna keep him as a breeder, he needs to be A2A2. Because if he's A1A2, it's only a 50% chance that his offspring is gonna be A2A2. Hey, you wanna be careful, okay? I got enough. I got enough. Ha! He kicked you, didn't he? He did, he did. Got you, did that that time. He did. Well, yeah, he actually did kick my hand a little bit. But he actually it kind of helped you, Papa. He kicked your hand he away. Did. He did. He pulled it away. I got to keep this in order. Let's get him out and we'll take this up. Let's get him in, fill us out. Oh, Papa. Yeah, I see him. All right. Okay. Come on. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. Come on. Come I'll, on. Put, I'll put Flossie out. So I got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Yes. Just don't get hurt. There you go. Uh oh, we didn't set up alfalfa. Can you get her five scoops? Can you get her five scoops of that? Don't forget the RC gold. And I'll take this hair up to mom. Okay. Bear and stud are out. Come on. Come on, Jonah. We can't. We tried to leave the lane down across the road, and they're on to us fast. We were trying to save a little bit of time. Now he's coming back up, Jonah. There, shoot him out. Okay, gotta get these hairs into the beautiful one. Okay, let's make a good presentation. 
for the beautiful one. I don't know if I'm allowed to touch the tusks. I think that might be what they test. I think I dropped one. But my guess is I still have 20. Is that some stumbling still hair? Yep. Y'all know. <laughs> Look here, Beck. Oh, wow. Is that... Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Go put it in... And that's in order. There's all your tests on top. Is that 20? 20. You want to count them to make sure? No, I'm trying just to get them all because like there's some that are short. Do you have tape? You want some tape? I'm trying to find the tape too. Hey, take all those to the chickens. The ices like them. Take these to the ices. I'm, I'm double handed right now. You bring them when you come back for the hay. Yeah, the ices need them too. They need to go to all three chickens. Hey, so if you give some for all three chickens, okay? Uh oh, don't yes. drop them on the. Hey, will you pick them up off the sidewalk there? Please? just ordered a herd dog book for Laurel to tap into her potential. There was a local person, but it just didn't work out. They couldn't come here. I don't have the time to go there. I can't leave the farm. So we're gonna order a book, go through it step by step. Get, uh, let's get Laurel's full potential going, right Rebecca? Herding dogs, progressive training. I can't give you a full review because I haven't even had it yet, but for my research, it looks like the best one and it had the best ratings on Amazon. So um, we'll have that in a little bit. We'll start a little bit of training every day, I think is my style. 1% improvement every day. It doesn't take long to have 100% improvement and it's not overwhelming. Lunch. Do you like it? What does it taste like? Spicy. Spicy? So maybe you don't she like said it. she liked it, but she's sticking her tongue out. Okay, so this is honey gravel out. The first time I read the recipe, it's salmon and like spices and honey, and you put it in the fridge for a couple days, and then you eat it without cooking it. So the first time I saw the recipe, I was like, "Is that right?" I want and, it um, cooked. I read it again, and, it, and that's right. And I talked to other people, and that's right. So. Mm -hmm. And you don't like fish even. I'm not you don't even like salmon cooked. I don't like. I do so, eat it cooked. I don't love it, I but I eat it. Okay. Oh, and it's cold. See, that's another thing. <laughs> she got a, a little tiny bit. <laughs> just, oh my gosh, Becky. It's so bad. You're gonna be all right. You need me to hold the camera. <laughs> okay, I did it. You did it. Get did. some more. She said one bite. Salty. Yeah, I mean, I probably wouldn't get it at a buffet. No, <laughs> I wouldn't like get it at a buffet. Is that, is that your... Uh... Well, you know, a buffet, you've already paid. It doesn't really cost you anything just to get this, but... Well... It's fishy. I would probably get it at the buffet for health. I don't know if I've ever had raw fish. There it is. I haven't ever had raw fish. Rebecca, if we wouldn't even necessarily eat this at a buffet, why are we eating raw salmon? Um, I have no idea, because it's on the Gaps diet. I'm realizing that the Gaps diet, is, it's very European. Mm. It, uh, the lady who, the doctor who came up with it is uh, European. Is eating raw right? salmon safe? I guess. There's some different takes on that. Um, freezing it to a certain temperature helps with making it, making it less likely to get sick. Which we did. Yeah. 
I would I would eat this at a buffet. This would be the okay. first thing I would eat. <laughs> well, would you order at a I restaurant? Would, I would it's not a buffet. Take a cucumber slice and put some of this and some of that cultured cream and some dip, fresh dill and red onion on top. Okay, and so that might actually be really good if I could do all of that. Yeah, we'll get there. You would eat it at a buffet, but would you order it at a restaurant with mm, just the menu? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I like I go to the Do store. Not get me that okay, now. nice. I bet all the Europeans watching are like, cook it. <laughs> you Americans and your cooking and your brute force. Beet soup. This afternoon, I want to increase the paddock for the pigs. So we need to put another electric fence in addition to the one they have. Come here, uh, Royal. Come here. Come here, you sweet thing. What is it? Oh, that's not my cat. Hey, Mr. Brown, where's your egg basket? We need your egg basket. Here, take this. It's stainless steel. What, my cat? I love your cat. It's not mine. Mom, All right. Afternoon. We got to do our afternoon chores, but I hope to also add fence for the big pigs. They are tilling away and have already done their little job, so we need to expand it. Hey, we have to uh, get the cows in so they, the, the Nellie doesn't get all our milk. Come here, Miss Thing. Come here, Laurel. Hey, I got you a training. I got you a training coming, huh? We gonna train you? And then I'll just say, go get the calves. I don't know if that's how it works. Oh look, here they come. We might not need it. <laughs> look, she's in the routine. Watch Gideon, hold Gideon, hold Gideon, hold Gideon. Good deal. Look, she's, she knows the routine. No, no, don't go in there. Hey, let her go. Wow, that worked. Okay. okay you guys get the waters? Hey, no, we haven't done any of that. We just want to get them up. Priority is getting them up and then getting them water and feed, okay? You do that and get in and I'll get the eggs. Josiah's gonna help him, Jonas, so I can help you. I'll get the water, you get the hay. Did you get some? Yeah, four. Nice. What? They're hurting you, aren't they? Here, hold on. We're giving them 12 pounds in the morning, 12 pounds in the evening, 24 pounds. It's not enough. That's already nine more pounds than what we estimated from what they were eating. Goodness. And this is soaked too. Extra. All right, we're gonna up it. Let's up it a pound in each bucket. Let's up it four pounds. Let's go. We have one more pig netting. If you see, they have quickly done a splendid till job. Let's fix this net a bit to encompass where this garden's gonna be. And then go all the way down with it. Okay, Jonah? Why do I do it? Right, put that in there. Let's put this up here. It doesn't shock on top of that because it's plastic. Okay? The pigs are distracted so we can do this. I'm going to turn on a chicken. No, don't you do it. What do I do with this net? No, don't you do it. So trick you. Okay, so somehow I need to get this corner over there. Hey Once we got out there, we had to take a risk because we really need to open up the fence that's there, expand it, and then connect to that one with our new fence. And so for a moment there, the pigs are going to have complete freedom. Total risk here. Going to see if Josiah, Jonah's holding the camera, can Josiah hold them back? I think he can. Are you recording? Yeah. It always works better with a camera. Chance pigs running away. Okay. So I'm gonna roll this up and we're gonna be exposed for just a little bit. Let's do this. Okay, we gotta be careful. Oh, now. Papa, we put some slack on it so we can tighten it up there. Alright. I think it's safe now. Jonah, where are those pig posts? You brought some out. Over there by the big pig. Okay, we need to put one there so we can make that corner. Josiah was able to hold them back. It helped that they were eating. They're eating, by the way is absolutely redonkulous. Okay. They're well occupied. What's going on? Been, um, you got it? Yeah. Here, here's your corner post. How many did you bring? Mucho. 
What's the matter? Oh, What's the matter with him? <laughs> he's, he's a corner person now. All right, I'm coming. I got a pose. Whoops, wrong pose. Give me a uh, medium one, Jonah. Thank you. Support this corner. Hey, we need water, Jonah. We gotta turn our water on. Got their water filled up. Got their fence up. Got them more feed. That is six buckets, six pounds each. 36 pounds of feed. I do want to fatten them up, but 13 pounds a day? Gosh. Each? It's 36 pounds a day, y'all. That's about a grain. Grain doesn't grow on, grow on trees. Yeah, in like Kansas. That ought to hold you guys. That's more than double what I estimated. Double. When I was out there, I looked at the pigs and I thought, these guys are a different ball game than these get compared to the guinea hogs. The guinea hogs were chill, slowed girly. They pig out too, but um, don't you know these guys are tilling fast? They're flying through it. I'm gonna be pressed to know what to do with them until March 1st. That is 13 pounds a pig a day. That doesn't seem right. I'm gonna have to ask Ben Grimes about that. It's a little overwhelming, but I think I think we got this. I think we can do it. It's time. We got we it's it's time we stepped it up to bigger, bigger pigs. Now, I'm gonna go text, actually, do I have my phone? I don't have my phone. Let's go find my phone and text Ben Grimes and see what in the world. Lukey here. I'm Ben texting with Ben Grimes. We got some answers. If these pigs are supposed to be eating this much. Are they? And, well, I'm gonna get to that in a second, uh -huh. but I wanna talk about this soup. Meow. Shepherd's pie soup. It's really good. Meow. We're having mashed cauliflower Meow. on top. Can meal. you go get it? Yeah. You go get the cups. I'll, I'll Somebody else get the milk. Be the change, buddy. And it's really good, right? It's so good. I don't not mind any soups at all right now. Mm -mm. I'm loving it, actually. Soft boiled eggs, yogurt whey from our cow. Mm -hmm. It is yogurt whey from our cow, and broth from our chickens. This is. Or is this? Is the whey going in our broth? Wherever you want to put it, or on broth or the soup. So and then this is beef from our beef butchering. Our, our, our eggs, maybe. Have to supplement a little bit with winter. I don't think there are eggs. Our milk for the kids. Our eggs were too fresh. Mm. And they weren't peeling very okay. well. So we, we did something else. That smells fermented. <laughs> All right, so here's what Ben said. I told Ben, I said, hey, these three pigs are eating 36 pounds of soap feed a day. You know what he said to me? Yep. You know what Ben said? He said, yep. Sounds like a pig to me. <laughs> <laughs> he said, when they're getting near harvest, they can do 10 pounds a day. They did more than that, plus forage. So I'm thinking, I, with, are they hungry? Are they needing to gain weight? They, they kind of look lean to me, but I didn't know. I don't know about pigs. Oh, no. They look sort of lean to me. So I'm all good for fattening them up. I don't yeah. think I want to do more than 13 pounds a day. That's kind of ridiculous. I am going to ration at that point. Okay, but obviously six pounds a day was not going to cut it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll do twice that. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Ben. He wants to get a wine glass. Gideon's insisting on wine glasses for his milk. Can't just go get glasses. Milk. You got to have wine glasses. What, no wine glasses? No. All right. No mine. This We're not big wine drinkers. We might have one unbroken. No, that was mine. That was mine. Okay. Who's this at? I want a mine wolf. <laughs> he gets particular. Where does he get that from? You. Me. No. I have to have it a certain way. I had to pour it back in too. I can just give this to somebody else. Sit down, bro. Jonah and Josiah, y'all want milk? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I do not want milk. 